During my exploration on Rakugo, two of the most important practical skills that I have learned is controlling my body posture at my back and conveying emotions through my overall body postures. I noticed that I have a very stiff back and sometimes a very bad body posture when I was playing a walking dad in my adapted version of Status Update. I should have been tightening up my back up and stiffening my muscles when I was playing a dad person. However, I was overly nervous and I bent my back and curled my back up, so I didn't really look like a dead person. And this also did not convey a sense of horror and abnormality through my performance. So when I was practicing for Rokugo, I found myself having a similar issue. Uh, is that I cannot adjust my back intensity and my degree of bending when I am during the performance because I was too nervous. So I tried to imitate the upper body movement of how people actually do things in reality, like for eating or walking or running or something like that. So I move it toward, uh, move it exactly to the kneeling position as in Rokugo. The other thing that I've learned is to convey emotions with my body gestures. In Rakugo, once I was trying to show that I'm enjoying a cup of uh, a bowl of very delicious noodles. However, my back was very stiff when I was playing it because of um, my anxiety. So my audience could not feel my enjoyment while eating noodle. And I tried to imagine the real scenario to actually sit in the restaurant and enjoy a bowl of noodles. This helped me to convey my emotions more through my body language. Now that I'm better at portraying my body language in a more natural and emotional way. So if I could go back to my status update performance, I can create more tension of horror, unnaturalness, and abnormality uh, in the performance. And also to my, for my solo project called One Size Fit All about uh, body issues, I could also stiff m my body up more to show the insecurity, struggling, and anxiety of the girl in the fitting room in my scene. Now I can learn to control and stiff or tighten up or relax my body muscles according to the emotions and also the personality of the character I'm trying to portray in my performance. I hope to use more body movement and body language in my collaborative project since I sometimes think that body language conveys the information more directly than vocal words sometimes. Now, I think of theater as telling stories for, uh, for entertainment. After a busy day of work, people will want to relieve pressure, so they would like to sit back and just relax to watch uh, a funny theater performance and just have a good laugh. It's something I discovered in my exploration in Rakugo. Uh, dating back to its history, Rakugo was transformed from uh, Buddhist narrations to funny monologues that it, uh, that are often performed to working class people after their uh, busy and tiring day of work. And it intentionally set dumb characters that would do dumb events to make the stories funny in Rakugo. And I found it similar in other uh, world traditional theater, such as Commedia dell'arte. Commedia dell'arte has many, many exaggerated movements. Um, there are characters from all social statuses, all economic backgrounds, and this can actually help the characters to build more connections with the audience, since the audience can always find a mirror of themselves in the characters. Now, the audience can better emerge in the performance and understand the exaggeration and also have a better laugh at the play. The other, uh, the other traditional theater um, that also gives the same effect is British pantomime. In British pantomime, there are often bizarre things happening, um, such as cross-dressing that was not so often seen uh, in some time so back then. Um, and also in British pantomime, there are many vulgar and down-to-earth jokes that people could easily get and have a good laugh. So now I would like to conclude theater as a storytelling for entertainment. Rather, it is a bit deeper or not so deep. They are always so easy to understand and make people relax and emerge in the story, actually. There are many approaches to emerge in the story. They could be in the imaginary world where everything is funny, or they could be staying with characters that relate to them very much. Um, but all theater does is devote pure funniness and laughter to the audience so that they can have uh, a true relaxation after a busy day of work.